Welcome to my fish room. Okay, this is Tigger Pod Culture the easy way. Okay, so this is a bucket of salt water. This is the uh, Tigger Pods. Put around in there. Okay, so uh, basically, this is a very passive method. You get uh, plastic containers. I got these at Top Bong Trading. If you guys are in Toronto, on Spadina, south of Baldwin, north of Dundas, is the most incredibly diverse selection of cooking utensils, tools. You can buy woks, like I bought my wok. And you can buy shiny woks. And everything you can possibly imagine. Hooks to hang your uh, barbecue pork on. And plastic containers too. Okay, so this is just salt water. Setting up about ten of them. Oh, I gotta go. There's a guy at the door. See him. Okay, so we're back. Yeah, this guy wanted some uh, LRS Reef Frenzy. They have the Fish Frenzy, the Reef Frenzy, the Herbivore Frenzy, and the Fertility Frenzy. And it's really good food. And I'm apparently the only distributor in Toronto. Okay, so anyhow, so now we take the. Uh, Phyto Feast is the one I use. You can use any one of them. This is just concentrated Phyto. And carefully measure a couple of drops in each one. Just want some color in the water. And do we got a whisk? A whippy whippy? I thought I looked it up. I was trying to get all prepared for this. Okay. There it is. I want the water to be kind of greenish. Tone doesn't really matter too much. As long as it's got some food in it. As you notice, some are darker, some are lighter. I don't find it makes much of a difference because you're going to be adjusting these. Okay. So then you take your tiggy pods and you carefully measure. Doesn't matter how many you really put in. Okay. So then I got the lids. I guess I did 12. 11 and 12. Okay, so then you stack them up in the window, and in order to put the food in without opening the lids, I got a needle hole in every one of these containers. I really should mark it or something. Do you see the needle hole in this one? Oh, there it is. I'm going to mark them. Okay, so we're going to stack them up, just leave them in the window. This is the batch that I did uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, before I got the bigger container. Now if you look in there, you can see there's all sorts of creepy crawlers booting around in there. Ah, uh, yeah. 
So I got some uh, false pipefish ordered. It's a Kenyan West East African supplier. And he had a huge list, but no quantities of each thing. Ooh, that's sometimes good, sometimes bad. Sometimes you get a whole buttload of stuff, and sometimes you don't get any of the stuff you order. And this is our first order. Is this first order going to be good? Usually. Because, like, they want to suck you in. It's like a first date. <laughs> don't belch in front of her on the first date. You'll wait till you're living together. <laughs> so, anyhow, these are the Tigger pods that I uh, cultured from before. So, we're going to hopefully multiply our culture. I think this one went and started growing green. Because it was getting light on me. This was set up like a month ago. So like this was my first trial. Then this was my second. Because oh this seemed to be working. So now this is my third. Alright. Thank you.